In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create three steps infographic slide in PowerPoint and this is how the slide works. When I click, it will show you the start and then the first option. You can see the title and the detailed text and you can add some icon here. When I click, it will show you the second option with a different color, then the third option and then the success. So the, you can see uh, that the, these are the three uh, steps to success and I've created one more slide where I have not added animation but I've used some multicolor uh, options here. Please share, like and subscribe my channel and the only channel on YouTube for PowerPoint where you can get 1000 plus free templates absolutely free and I've provided the link on the video description section of each video and you can support my channel through PayPal or Patreon. So let's start the tutorial. Add a new slide, go to insert shapes, select the rectangle, just click it here, shape outline, make it no outline. Then you can go to the shape format and you can adjust depending on the requirement, the size, so let it be one. And then I'm going to give a 3D look for this one. Right mouse click, go to the format shape. Under the effects, go to the 3D rotation from the presets, I'm going to choose which is isometric top up just click this one so we end up getting a shape which looks like this it, look, it looks like a kind of a diamond shape so I'm going to duplicate this by pressing ctrl D give some different color then the preset I'm going to choose which is isometric left down just click it here and put it here and the, just zoom and then make sure that it is properly aligned you can see here then what I'm going to do is I'm going to select both these shapes, press Ctrl D. One I'm going to add it at the bottom, press Ctrl D again. I can just move it on the top and one more I'm just going to make it here. And this one I don't need this one. I can delete this one or I can just increase the size by holding the shift key. You can see here and then I can just place it at the bottom here. All right, so let me just select all the shapes and then move it up. And then I'm going to add one arrow here for that go to insert shapes from the block arrows. I'm going to select this arrow, right? Draw the arrow, right? Shape outline, no outline. Then I'm going to select this shape, go to the home tab, format painter, click it here and then put it here. Zoom and then you can see here this small orange. You can just drag this one still a little bit more i need yeah this is done you can see here again if you want to increase the size you can hold the shift key you can increase the size and align it properly so you can see here we have done this design again make sure that you can see here their design is not properly aligned so i have to just select all these things align it properly go up align this also and just make sure that the bottom also it's aligned properly so here this is not aligned so align it okay done so once this is done what we can do is we can give some different color according to our requirement so i'm going to select this shape go to the shape format shape fill maybe you can give some uh, light green color and here i'm going to give some dark green color then here I'm going to give a maybe a light blue then I'm going to give a dark blue here you can see here then I'm going to give a could be uh, orange and here I'm going to give some light or yellow color and then here I can give maybe a purple color and here I can give go to the more fill colors and I can just go to the somewhat lighter purple you can see here or pink and then you can give some different color for this one so once this is done this is the step one step two and step three right i would like to add some more points so or some more steps so i'm going to select this shape this shape and this shape by holding the shift key press ctrl d to duplicate bring it aside go to the effects 3d format you can see the depth here increase the depth so how much depth you need you can just increase the depth then come to the lighting areas and if you want more lightings you can just select this one and you can just choose if you want more darker or more lighter 
whichever way you feel you can just choose the material and the lighting from and once this is done i'm going to just put it like this align it properly right it's done so you can see here we have added this uh, uh, 3d steps three steps the next thing which you can do is you can add the text or the icon first of all the text i'm going to add which is say this is the start make it bold increase the size bring it here all right and then for this text also i'm going to give a 3d look for that instead of go to the shape options you need to go to the text options go here which is the text effects and i'm going to the 3d rotation you can see here whether i want to give this one or this one maybe i'll just try with this one isometric top up yeah this is done all right and press ctrl d to duplicate bring it here change the color to white and i'm going to say success or i'll just say instead of success end and i'm going to place it here the same thing i'm going to do it here for example press ctrl d this is my option number one all right you can see here and i'm going to place it here you can reduce the size if you want press ctrl d to duplicate bring it here this is my 0 2 second option and press ctrl d this is my third option we are done again if you want to change the color you can just change the color to white depending on your taste and requirement and then you can add some icons to it so go to insert click on icons and here i'm going to select a few uh, icons of a person it's taking some time anyway let me just type maybe a man whether i'll get it or not i don't know so here you can see here i've got some some more I, or if i just say person let's see yeah i've got a different uh, you can see here i need this one this one and this one click insert then i'm going to this one is crawling here and this one is started and this is where he is here so you can see here it looks something like this and then if you want to add more detailed text you can go to insert text box equals lorem within bracket one i don't want this much large text i'm going to delete this one select this one left align reduce the font size and then for this also go to the text options effects go to the 3d rotation maybe i can just choose uh, this one which is the isometric top up so if i put like this it is it is not looking good so we have to just see what is best here again if i do like that this is also not good so you can see here depending on the requirement you can just choose whichever way you want for example maybe i need for this one you can see here which is i'm saying for isometric bottom down and this is my text i'm going to place it here again if you want to make it big you can make it big increase the width also this is my option the details press ctrl d these are my details press ctrl d these are my details so you can see here in the simple way you can just create this uh, beautiful uh, three step uh, slide and if you, if you want to change the color if you want to add the background uh, adding the background is also very simple so i'm just going to select the slide go to the gradient fill and here i don't want this much stops i want only one stop which is white color the other stop i'm going to make it a uh, somewhat gray color and then type i'm going to choose the radial and the direction i'm going to choose from center and then if you want to make it more white add one more stop and increase it we are done so then you can add some simple animation effect to it